friends, Cole here. Thank you so much for joining me on Ohm Yoga Tribe. I'm here in Bali and um, yeah, just like to do some breathing and moving with you today. I wanted to work on some standing poses today and some standing uh, balances that can be fun and really challenging as well. And so have some patience with yourself as we move and just stay connected with your breath. If you have some difficulty or if you fall out of some of the poses, just remember that you have to lose your balance to find it. So let's go ahead and begin to move. Let's stand at the top of the mat first. Close the eyes down. Push down into the earth with the feet and lift up through the crown of the head. So reaching in both directions, the palms can face forward. Hmm. Big inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, let's bend the knees, fold forward. So just kind of wash out the back here. Inhale, halfway lift and fold. So maybe move in a little bit more fluid than you normally would. We'll just kind of rinsing out the spine. And then push into the earth as we rise all the way up. And hands to heart center and move all the way through so that the hands are down again. Let's step back with the right foot. Come into a warrior two position. So the front heel will pretty much bisect, go in the middle of the back foot. And just we'll just check in that the knee is going towards the toes and it's over the heel. With the back foot, really think about pushing into that outside um, edge of the pinky toe and lifting the arch and then we'll sink the hips down so a tendency is to come forward we want to keep the shoulders over the hips so maybe you need to widen your stance and then we'll move down so warrior two really strong pose here roll the shoulders back sink down a little bit more Inhale, up and back, reverse warrior. And exhale, wave the hands all the way down. Lift the back heel. Inhale, we're going to come all the way up. So bring that foot all the way up into the knee. So face this way. So bringing that foot all the way up. See, getting the balance. Pull the belly in and up. Pull the pelvic floor in and up. Kind of like you're stopping the flow of pee. That'll really, um, it sounds a little funny, but really help the balance. Bring the knee, the ankle over the knee, begin to sit back. So figure four we'll move into first. Heels go, hips go back. Pressing the hands evenly into one another. So this press will create a lock, a proprioception, helping your body know where it's at in space. Inhale, begin to come up. Bring the knee up with it. And exhale, release. And kind of shake the legs out here. And we'll move on the other side. I'm moving for ease. You can stay where you are. For, I'm moving for ease of vision. Let's step back with the left foot. Warrior two, so just kind of opening up the hips here. So same thing here, bring the knee over the ankle. It likes to come in often. So if you see it tracking like farther over than the toes, you want it to be in line with the second, third toe. Same thing back here, arch is lifted and really connected through the outside pinky edge side of the foot. Bend the knees, sink the hips down. Not coming forward, but shoulders over the hips. Really strong here. Ignite the arms. Flip the front palm, inhale up and back. And exhale, bring the hands all the way down. Turn the back heel up. Then we're gonna step all the way up. So really big step, bend the back knee. Come all the way up, bring the knee into the chest. So same thing here. 
just feeling sturdy. So finding something to look at that's not moving can really help. So don't watch me. I would just listen to me and watch something else. And then we're going to take the ankle over the knee, begin to sit back. Flex this top foot so that'll help protect the knee like you're sitting back into a chair. So what's really gonna help here is pulling up on the pelvic floor, pulling in and up on the belly and then really pressing the hands into one another. Also bringing the thumbs into the sternum, pressing the sternum into the thumb. So these things help the body know where it is in space, give you a little more balance. Inhale, begin to lift the knee up one more time. And exhale, release. So maybe you're feeling a little uh, shakiness and that is actually the muscles building. So you're kind of training them, learning something new. So invite in the shake, it's good. And if you fall out, just come back in. So I want to work on Natta Rajasana, which is dancer pose, this is one of my favorite poses. So we'll do a little fun transition, and it's from warrior one into Natarajasana, okay? Let me show you Natarajasana first, and then we'll work on the transition. And I'll just say for a moment about Natarajasana. So Natarajasana is um, an incarnation of Shiva. And he is, whenever you see Natarajasana, he is dancing in, he's got a circle of flames around him. So the symbolism is that he's dancing amidst the, amidst the chaos. So he's able to stay focused and sturdy. He is gazing at some fi the fire of knowledge in his hand and then standing atop of ignorance. So he's on one leg, standing on ignorance, looking at knowledge. So that's just a little brief synopsis. So maybe you can feel a little bit of that. Let's start in warrior one. So the hips will be square. So go ahead and step back. The stance is normally shorter than it is in warrior two. Mine is, anyway. And the, the feet are not lined up, but they're more kind of like on train track. So let's open them up a little bit. The back heel is down or almost down. We're, again, planting the pinky edge side of the foot and lifting the arch. And then we'll begin to sink the hips down. So. Some people are able to come down into 90 degrees. Mine's not really, but we do want the hips square. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Often when the hips are square, we want to arch the back a lot. So you can sink the tailbone a bit, pull the belly in and up more. So focus more on that, the belly in and up, and the hips coming square. So pulling the back hip up. The arms can lift. And you can give some space for the neck. So even bring them wide, that's fine. So warrior one. Now we're gonna move into Natarajasana. So we're gonna move forward. Stand onto this left leg. The foot comes behind and we grab for the foot on the inside or the outside. Lift the left arm up and begin to kick into the foot. So you, this doesn't have to be huge. But the more that you kick into the foot at the same time as you pull back with the hand, it's creating an equal opposition. So that's what's holding the balance. We're gonna begin to release. Reach the leg back. Plant the foot. And inhale, warrior one. Staying here. This is a challenging transition, so be patient with yourself. Let's try it again. Begin to reach forward. Stand onto the left leg as you reach back for the foot. So maybe you're just, maybe this just looks like this and that's awesome. If you want to begin to extend, then you can begin to kick into the hand. And you can gaze up the fire of knowledge in the hand. So it should feel a little chaotic. So it's a really good metaphor. One more inhale. And exhale, step back, warrior one. Let's straighten the front leg. Begin to send the hips back. You can take the hands to the hips as you reach the heart forward. Let's take a pyramid pose. Maybe step the back foot in even more. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. This can be a great place to put blocks underneath the hands. That'll help bring the earth a little bit closer to you. We do want the hips square here. The front leg can also be bent if you need a little bit more space. 
this will get into the hip that might have been getting some intensity from having the weight put on it. Mm, inhale, halfway lift. And we'll exhale, fold. Beautiful. And then to rinse that hip out a little bit more, let's do one other thing. Take the right hand down to the ground. This will be a little weird, so listen up. Take the back leg and take it off the left side of the mat. You should start to feel some stretch in the outer left hip. And if you want even more, begin to lift that left arm up. Ah, oh, this feels really good. And then send the hips up and back as if you're like kind of sticking your butt out here. Whew. So that should get into that area that we were just working. One more inhale. And then exhale, plant the hand. Let's just take a forward fold. Spread the feet, bend the knees, and have a little sway here. And slowly release and we'll roll back up to stand. And let's do it on the other side. So stepping back with the left foot, warrior one. Arms come up and they can be wide, leave space for the neck. And remember, we're gonna do this transition up and back. So inhale. And then we begin to reach forward. We're going to stand into this front leg. Reach back on the outside or the inside. You can see whichever feels better. And begin to kick into the hand as the hand pulls back. So both things are happening at the same time. Maybe the hip opens here and that's fine. It can be open or closed, whatever feels good in the body. So often you see the arm straight out and that's completely fine as well. But if you bring the arm up, that tends to bring your heart up as well. So it has a heart opener in it too. Begin to release. Step the foot back. So reaching back with the toes. And then inhale, warrior one. Take a round of breath here. One more inhale. And let's move forward into Natarajasana once more. Reaching the arms forward. Bending and stepping strong into that front leg, taking the back foot. Maybe it comes a little higher this time, or maybe you do something a little bit different. Maybe the hand position is different. So really breathing through the shakiness, the discomfort, the chaos. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly reaching back. So it's a nice transition to build some resiliency, eh? Let's come into pyramid pose. So step that back foot up a little bit. And take the hands to the hips. Begin to reach the heart forward. Pull the belly in. And then release the hands. And let's open up here. This should feel really nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull the heart forward. Maybe square the hips a little more here. And exhale, fold. Hmm.